Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Omega Max Megazord from Power Rangers SPD. Just like my um, Delta Max Megazord, or Delta Squad Megazord, excuse me, Delta Max is a spoiler alert. I am doing a re-review for these. I'm doing re-reviews for some things in the retro reviews because, um, just in case anyone wants to comment, hey, you already did this, but I've also gotten some requests to redo things, so anyway. I don't know, I always ramble. Like, the first minute of my videos, I just talk about nonsense. Nonsense. See, it's all connected. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, because we actually have quite a bit to do in this review compared to the other one. So here it is in its cycle mode, the Omega Max cycle. They had to call it Omega Max because I guess the people that wrote Lightspeed didn't foresee that we were going to want to call someone the Omega Ranger, so we couldn't just be the Omega Megazord because that was already taken. So it's the cycle mode. Um, it rolls a little bit. It does bike things. It can be a little bit flimsy within this area. Um, overall, design-wise, I think it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of the bike on its own, really, uh, to be honest. I think it was a cool idea for sure. Sure. And the fact that the Delta Megazord can ride on it is, is a pretty neat idea as well. It's just, like, compared to some other things, it's just not really my favorite. Um, like I just said, like a second ago, the Delta Squad Megazord can ride on it. Um, I'm going to sort of show that off. It's kind of a unique way to do it. Um, pull the legs off. You can hear in the background I'm doing that. Uh, pull the legs off of the Delta Squad Megazord. And then there's little ports here and just put them on the side here like this. So you got blues there. And greens here and then you're gonna be taking the rest of the Delta Max or Delta Squad damn it that's gonna be happening all review it's kind of like when I call things in Dino Thunder reviews Dino Charge except much less um, then you're just gonna take this and you can fold these forward and there's two little um, holes in here which are gonna be for leg transformations later as well so it makes sense that they exist but you can put them in there and let me turn the electronics on and so because then we can do siren noises. That'll be like minutes of fun. Damn it, spoiler alert. There you go. So then he's sort of riding on the bike, which is neat. Um, press the button. It doesn't really... It doesn't translate any of the lights, which could have been cool. It would have been, I don't know how they would have done it, but it would have been neat to do that. But uh, yeah, that's just kind of... A, it looks kind of awkward. Uh, you can kind of position it a little bit better. Um, and stuff like that, but it's still a neat idea for sure, and in the show obviously it looks a lot better, um, but a neat idea nonetheless. I'm turning that off, you're just being obnoxious now, sir. Okay, so now we're just going to set this guy aside, we are going to need him in a minute, I'm not going to bother putting his legs back on because um, he's just going to become separated anyway. Dang, there we go. Alright, setting the Megazord aside, talking about what I'm doing so there's not dead air. Okay, so now we will do the Megazord mode. Um, you pretty much just disassemble him with quite a lot. Just take this piece off, um, and take these pieces off. Take these pieces off here. Set them aside, and then this piece as well. And this is going to be like the bulk of the body here. You pull these down, uh, press these, that's going to be the hands. Um, and then take the front of the bike, separate them, pull these forward, and they're going to become the legs. Just snap in right there. Same deal here. Press forward. Snap in right there. Let's get them standing up. Um, take this piece well, before I forget it, and then you're just going to... Actually, I should have could have kept it on the back, and then you can just swing that around so it's not in your way. Um, take these pieces off. And then this piece can kind of just rest on the back, uh, just to get it out of the way. You can, if you want to, also, you can probably just, you know, completely take it away and set it somewhere if you want to. Um, and then these little fist pieces, make sure you get it right, go here on the front. Very easy. And then these pieces here, I always get them on the wrong side, so let's make sure I get this right. Go on the sides here. I believe I have it the right side there. Alright, so there you have that. Sometimes I I think it might be the other mode where I get the shoulder pads wrong. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. The only other thing that's of note is under here you can pull out little blades like he has in the show, which is pretty neat. Um, and yeah, that's the Megazord. He's just kind of sticking blades out at you. Um, kind of like with the cycle, this isn't one of my personal favorite designs. I actually like it quite a bit more in the show than the toy. I think... See, I'm just going to leave that off, because we're going to need that in a minute anyway. Um, I think the toy's kind of weaker. Like, uh, I think that the Delta Squad Megazord um, represents itself really well and holds up. And this certainly isn't a terrible Megazord, but it definitely looks 
bulkier and just kind of awkward compared to the other one. Um, you can lift his visor up so he can be like, howdy ma'am. I don't know why I even say that, but uh, yeah, it's just overall kind of a more of an awkward looking dude uh, going on here. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the combined mode. Uh, we're going to pretty much disassemble everything again. Just take everything off. Just gonna completely dismantle them. If there's anything I didn't need to dismantle, oh well. Okay, so now we're gonna bring Delta Squad back in. So take this, uh, we're gonna take his arms off and we're just gonna need the body for now. And you're going to place the legs on him just the same way you would if it was the regular legs, except it makes him taller. So there you have him like that. Um, and now take these and you're going to place them as the arms, and I believe this is right, make sure that the peg is closest to you. There you go, there's one, where'd the other one go? And here we have two. I don't know why I got the gear on for us on. All right, and then fold this up and you're going to place it on top. Same thing with pink, fold its fist up, place it on top. If you're wondering where this top piece is, it's in the sword mode. Just FYI. Okay, so now, where are the legs? The legs. Now take those. And they're going to essentially become like the bulk of his arms. I believe this is the right side. I always get these two mixed up for some reason. Um, but if I got them flip-flopped, I apologize. Um, and now take the little hand pieces, and they're going to, well, obviously become the hands. There's a little peg right down there at the bottom. Place it on there. And now um, take this sort of just back piece. I'm going to fold these up and just kind of get things generally out of the way. And then take it back here, obviously. Now that's going to become undone and be kind of a pain in the you know what. Okay, so if you can see here, there's like these little inserts um, on the inside, and you just kind of rest these in there. It's a pretty, pretty common little toy holder thing, and I find if I push them out a little bit, it balances it. Sometimes he has issues with balance, which I will explain in a moment. See, like that. Look at that. If I put his arms forward, maybe it'll help. That's good enough. He can survive the review. Now just take this piece, and it's going to go up on front. Got to hold it securely. There we go. All right, so we got it on there pretty much. It was a little bit finagly and annoying. All right, now take this, flip it around, and it's going to become the new helmet. And there you have the Delta Max Megazord, which I mentioned the name at the beginning, which honestly is pretty cool looking. I've always dug this formation. I thought it was just, I don't know, pretty cool looking, and I think it's a very impressive looking toy. Um, it looks really nice. I think that out of the three modes that you can get uh, with this guy, I think it's definitely the best looking. Sorry about that hiccup. Um, but yeah, I just overall dig it. I don't want to mess around with it too much. My only real roll complaint, I don't know where that accent came from, uh, my only real complaint about it is that the way that um, Delta Runner 1 snaps together can't quite hold it well enough sometimes if you're messing around with it and he'll, you know, like I showed you when you're just trying to get the face plate on and stuff, or the front plate, it will, you know, very easily come undone and you kind of have to do some finagling and some security stuff stuff and I don't know that's just kind of obnoxious I mean if it's on display and you can sort of secure it so he's resting on something that totally works fine but um, it's just kind of an obnoxious thing to deal with but otherwise I think it looks pretty solid as a combined mode it's probably one of my more favorite ones and I think it looks impressive and it, it really holds up well look wise um, but overall for the Omega Max Megazord on his own I don't think he's quite as fun so if you're just picking up one I would probably pick up one of the other ones like Delta Command or SWAT um, but if you're looking for the combined formation I can recommend it I uh, just be wary depending how old it is you may have some of those loose problems in the middle but for the combined mode I can recommend it but on its own and it's kind of more of an oddball Megazord. But anyway, until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Writer, signing out.